hello hello everybody it's me your girl i am just walking trying to take a walk before it looks like it's gonna storm i haven't been able to walk since i have started school but this week is my final week and all i have to do is study to prepare for my final exams um, i want to first thank everybody who saw my post about me getting stung with bees that I'm allergic to. My eye was swollen, still is swollen. That's why I have on sunglasses and also a place on my leg. I went to urgent care on yesterday um, because the medication that I have to normally take it was not uh, doing the job. So they had to give me a oral steroid um, to help the swelling to go down. Um, I'm gonna have to talk with my doctor because I just have concerns that as it progresses it gets worse and so i don't want to find myself in that position um to where if i lose breath or something like that and i don't have anything right there on hand i do believe the power of prayer i know that i'm covered but we also have to do uh, that is going to help us and protect us also in the long run because our bodies can be fickle at times um, but one of the things I was thinking about as I am completing my first semester of school after 20 something years, I decided to go back. Have you ever thought about when you had these bright ideas and then you get right at the beginning of it and you like, what the ham sandwich was I even thinking about? That's how I was when I uh, started studying. Um, and in one class in particular, I wasn't doing too well because many of you who know me, my caseload is long, it's big. I have a lot on my plate. I'm getting ready to take some of that off my plate um, as I am going to finish school. Uh, so I had to readjust myself and I was playing a word swipe with one of my friends. And one of the things he said was very profound to me because he always had about 800 coins and mine i would use all of my coins because i didn't have patience i would get frustrated and then i just use my coins so i could go to the next level but one of the things he said was that sometimes you have to step away and come back so that you'll have a clear perspective and i was like huh that sounds <laughs> actually biblically biblical uh, but let me try it so as i did that give myself some patience and some some time i applied it to my schoolwork and i made sure that i did not take a test while i was tired when i was emotionally drained uh, that i uh, would make sure that i had ample enough rest and then I would study for so much um, and not study and study and study till I couldn't study no more. And then I'd take the test at the last of it and I could not comprehend um, what I was seeing or the questions. Um, and so it did me no good. So when I applied that simple principle was stepping back and then come back to it and having a new perspective. So that's what I am encouraging you to do um, within this week, within this next season of your life. There are some things um, that we might have to step back from, whether it's for a moment or whether it's for long-term, short-term, long-term goals. That's something I'm also learning in school. Um, but you have to count up the cost of what it's worth, um, not only not so much to others, but what it's worth to you um, so that you would be uh, capable of being able to do what God has trusted you and put in your hands to do. Um, so I just want to encourage you and the Lord to just keep going. Don't quit. Um, you know, it's easier to quit when things seems to be at its worst or it seems like it's challenging. Um, it's easy to quit it's easy to give up but you find strength and you'll find comfort when you're able to continue to keep going so don't give up
keep going. May you have a God-blessed day.